Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Today I'm sharing with you in an extreme, the most extreme ever, hours of speed cleaning. This is going to be a speed cleaning marathon. So you're going to get cleaning motivation for your entire house. And what I'm going to be doing is sharing some of the top cleaning products, the top cleaning hacks, all of the top cleaning products I use to make cleaning easier and more fun for me. I'm also going to be cleaning outside and inside, deep cleaning from the top of the house to the bottom of the house. I'm going to show you some game changing organizing hacks for board board games and how to organize your kitchen. You're also going to see me clean in a completely new space, a brand new house. And the idea behind this cleaning marathon is that I compile some of the best cleaning content to show you all of the best products and the best cleaning methods so you can have it all in one place. So put this video on your TV, on your tablet, on your phone. Let's listen to some good music and get our houses clean. I'm also going to be giving away $200 PayPal cash giveaways in today's video. So keep watching for all of the details on how to enter. I am here for you. You are stronger than you realize and you matter. So let's get to this. Friends, today I want you to get ready for some extreme, incredibly satisfying cleaning motivation. This is an extreme whole house clean with me that took me two days. And when I say it's pretty extreme, it's very extreme. I, I am trying out new cleaning products and you're going to see me deep clean something that I have never ever deep cleaned before in my life. And when you see the before and the after, you are going to be shocked. Literally, as I was cleaning, I got a smell of something that smelled super rotten and I am glad I was able to deep clean this area. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to be giving away two PayPal cash awards of $100 in today's video. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, and answer the question I ask in this video. And because this is such a long video, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing, of course, unless you want to see a lot of great cleaning motivation. So I will give you a hint where the question is located. It's in the second video of this marriage marathon the after Christmas cleanup video I will draw two names and to enter just answer the question in the comment section so enjoy the cleaning motivation until the after Christmas cleanup video with that question so I'm not always able to clean for long periods of time at once but my husband did have all three kids this Saturday morning he went to go visit his parents so I was able to just focus on getting some cleaning done you know getting some stuff done and not feeling like I was pulled in so many different directions and you can see we had quite the mess on our hands just daily messes but also some areas that really needed to be scrubbed and deep cleaned i am using a laundry basket downstairs as i clean up the stuff just to throw everything that needs to go upstairs into the basket i feel like i can clean up faster when i have that basket because i just throw everything that needs to go upstairs into that basket and it just goes a lot smoother Something I'm going to be deep cleaning today, which I'm really excited about, is I deep cleaned our couch. And you guys can tell how gross it was before we have crumbs and dried milk and a lot of stuff on here. And I am just ready to use our carpet shampooer deep cleaner to truly deep clean these couches. This has been a long time coming and something I've never done. And let me tell you, the smells that were coming out of this couch as I was cleaning it, it was so gross and wait till you see the gross water that was pulled out from these couches after I cleaned it. Spoiler alert, you're not gonna see me go long without cleaning these couches again. It was that traumatizing. I honestly feel super embarrassed when you see the stains and hear about the smells coming out of the couch when I was cleaning it, but I just wanna show you real life messes. This is our life.
I'm so excited to share with you the deep cleaning of my couches. I feel like I always show you cleaning my kitchen or my sink or my stove or me mopping, that type of stuff that you pretty much do every day or every week. So when I decided to clean my couches, I didn't realize how bad they were. And it's just so satisfying to see all of the dirty water after and knowing that my couches that we sit on every day are deep cleaned. And it's something I'm definitely going to be doing again. So stay tuned for some super, super satisfying cleaning coming up. And I can't wait to share with you what smelled so rotten as I was cleaning out my couch. I want to know where you guys are from, so go ahead, introduce yourself in the comment section and let me know where you live, where you're from. So I needed to scrub my stove, which it had been a little bit since I've really thoroughly cleaned the stovetop. So I wiped it down with some of my Jaws degreaser, which by the way, if you want to try Jaws cleaning products out, I love them. You can use my code in the description to get 25% off. But I started out by using the kitchen degreaser and then I was going to scrub it with a couple of other products. But one of my favorite things to do when I have burnt on food or water or anything on the stovetop, I like to use a magic eraser. And here you'll see me cutting them up and keeping them in a little container in my kitchen so I can easily grab one when I need to get some burnt stuff off of my stove. But typically for those small areas of the stove, I don't need a full magic eraser. So I cut them up to get more use out of them and keep the price a little bit lower. And then I can still utilize them whenever I need them. But I was gonna use them to scrub and get any burnt stuff off of my stove. And then I was gonna go in with a baking soda cream cleanser from Mrs. Myers. So this is kind of how I really, really deep clean my stove. To scrub my oven, I'm using Bon Ami. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've seen a couple other ladies here on YouTube use this cleaning product, specifically Amanda from This Crazy Life, and she always raves about it. So I definitely wanted to try it out when I found it at Target recently. So I used it in my oven and then I was going to use it to scrub my sink. And I'll tell you that I really, really enjoyed it. It's a powder cleanser and it's natural, but you can use it to scrub all over your house in so many different areas. So I'm gonna keep using it, but so far I really enjoy it.
I'm also going to be sharing with you the amount that we, when I say we, it's you guys because you watched all of my ads from a video from a couple weeks ago what we were able to donate to help fight systemic racism so stay tuned i'm going to show you what we were able to donate and what i was able to match Here you guys see me making some of my DIY cleaner. It's just some rubbing alcohol, Dawn dish soap, and water. And as you can see here, I am not particular or specific about the measurements. I find it really isn't too important, but just make sure you don't put in too much dish soap. But a good rule of thumb, if you're unsure, I would do like a cup of rubbing alcohol, a drop or two of dish soap, and then the rest water in your spray bottle. Here I'm using more of my Jaws cleaner. This is the Granite Cleaner, which is probably my favorite cleaner of all of theirs. But this one is just super nice because you can reuse the bottles and then you just buy the individual, they're kind of like pods for the cleaners when you run out. So you're using less bottles, less waste, and they also take up less space in your area. This is a cabinet right next to the twins high chairs and as you can see they touch it a lot or they get food all over and it's been a while since i wiped it down and really scrubbed it so i wanted to use some really really hot water and then some dawn dish soap to scrub that area and then i was going to scrub the baseboards and the walls behind their high chairs and sometimes when i have a lot of grease and sticky messes good old hot water and dawn dish soap seems Seems to do the trick.
Before I deep clean and steam clean the couches, I wanted to vacuum the outside and then under the cushions. And I'll admit, we have not been very careful with the kids eating or drinking on the couches, I guess more specifically Avery. We've had these couches for 10 years and we were just never serious with her and making her, I mean, she didn't eat a lot, but like she would have snacks out there. She would cup some milk or water or juice. And we do have plans on getting new furniture here really soon. And we're going to make a rule that they can only have water on the couches so this doesn't happen again. So that's why you see a lot of dust and dirt and milk stains all over the couch. It's so gross. I'm a little embarrassed. I keep saying that to show you this, but I guess it's just real life with kids. Okay, so now I need to clean the furniture and this is something that I have never done and we desperately need to do it. We've needed to do it for a while because of kids. And this is the machine. I bought this maybe a couple months ago and if you guys aren't new to my channel, then you know I've been using this like all over my house to clean my carpets and it is amazing. I'll have it linked below. It's super easy to use. And I feel like it's not cheap. Like it's like maybe $250. I got it at Kohl's with a coupon. Um, but I am telling you, totally worth it. The amount of times we've already used it in the past couple of months. And then now knowing I'm going to be cleaning my carpets. Sorry, my dog needed out. But now knowing I'm going to be cleaning the couches. Totally worth it. I love this machine. And I just can't wait to clean my carpets over and over again. So it's super easy to use. Um, you just, it like tells you right here. So water and then how much formula to put in. I have two different kinds. Um, you can get this just at like Target or Walmart. I have, then we also have this one that I've been using on the carpets. I think I just got this from Target. Um, but obviously you just fill it up, add it in the formula and then you put it in and that's it. Just put it in like that. And then if you're just using it, um, obviously you just use it like that. You can just turn it on. But I am using a hose. There's a couple different attachment hoses. Um, and this is the one that I'm gonna use today. So you just put it right in here. There you go. A thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And it's an end tonight Okay, so this is an area in the couch that Avery always sits in. She has sat in that position on the couch since she was super little. So this is where a majority of the stains were. So I was really focusing on the arm of the couch and that cushion specifically. And I don't know if you just saw me kind of turn away really quickly, but as I was cleaning this area, the arm and the cushion, I kept getting like whiffs and smells of something rotten and I could not figure out what it was. I was alone in the house and my dog was outside. I thought it was in the machine at first, but it wasn't. And then it dawned on me that as I kept going, the rotten milk was coming up from the cushions. How gross is that? I am so embarrassed. But that's the honest truth. And it ended up going away as I started cleaning more and more. So the water from the machine that was getting into the cushions was bringing up some old milk that smelled rotten. Gross. Release me.
Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah, every day So in a perfect world, I would have done every square inch of the couch But this ended up being way more work than I had thought And they were way dirtier than I had expected took me way longer and I just had other stuff I needed to do so I decided to focus on the cushions and the armrests and then I'm going to go in again soon and do it all again and then get the other areas of the couches and I honestly feel like I'm going to have to do this a couple times before it's fully clean. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us before we got lost and we parted back to back we were carrying guys i am sick right now literally sick so i just started doing this cushion right here and this was this one and this one was by far the dirtiest that's where when one of us comes in to sit like if we're by herself we sit there avery sits here all of the time like that's her like that's her preferred spot to sit when she sits here and she has sippy cups of milk. She's had sippy cups of milk for years. And I started doing this cushion and I got a whiff of something rotten. Like I'm like, what does that smell? Like, and I'm like, uh, no one's down here with me. No one's around me except for, I thought maybe the dog, maybe it was the dog. So I look, no, the dog's outside. And I'm like, why does it smell so rotten? And then I kept going and the smell went away. So you know what the smell is? Embedded milk in the couch that was coming up from the cleaner. Like the water was pulling it up. That's what it was because this is where Avery sits. She'll set her sippy cup right here on the couch. And after I kept cleaning, the smell went away. Oh, I need to do this again. I need to do it again. Okay, I am done got this cushion really good and i got that one and let me tell you it's a workout i am tired and i didn't even get every square inch of every couch because I mean, i've obviously already been cleaning a lot today and i still have some stuff i need to finish up um but i'm gonna do this again so i feel like this was round one and i almost feel like i need to do it another time like soon to kind of almost like get it to be neutral or back to like clean and then I'll do upkeep after that. But you guys, I am so happy I did this and I'm also so happy that I did this before we got our new furniture because you better believe I'm gonna be adding this to probably my monthly cleaning routine, especially when you have kids, right? Now I understand that we've had this for, like I said, 10 years so dirt, dust, I mean, that's gonna happen, but even more of a reason to keep up with this, but, oh. and let me show you the dirty water. Ugh. Ugh. So yes, our pets do not get on the couches. Yeah, no pets get on our couches at all. So this is dust, dirt, who knows what else. How gross is that? This machine is amazing. It looks like chocolate milk. Like, doesn't it? Chocolate milk in there. It's like you expect your floors to be that dirty. But your couches? Well, if you like seeing this, guess what? It's gonna get added to my monthly cleaning routine. You'll see it a lot. Not a sound Sneaking out through your window Into the night Where we were meant to be Skipping town Searching for no This is what we waited for No looking back We started something I can never let go I'm keeping you close to me We don't need no sleep And I know we will be alright If only for tonight If only for tonight 
after I was done with the couches, I was going to go in and vacuum and mop down here on the main level before I was done for the day. And then the next day, I was going to clean the entire upstairs. So I've had many of you guys recommend using pine saw on my hardwood floors. I have never tried it, but it might be one of the most highly recommended cleaning products that I don't use. So I figured why not try it? My Walmart was out of the regular scent. So I just got the lavender and I put it in my O Cedar Spin Mop, which I haven't used in a while. And I forgot how much I love this mop. And I must say, I really, really enjoyed the Pine Sol. I think it did a pretty good job on my floors. And I typically use Bona hardwood floor cleaner, which that's probably like my number one hardwood floor cleaner. Or I really love the Method Almond wood floor cleaner as well. I still love both of those. And, but I think I'm gonna keep the pine salt in my rotation. Um, I'll keep using it, see if I continue to like it, but so far I really enjoy it. I think I like the smell a lot too. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So it was day two and I was planning on doing the rest of the upstairs and I started out in our master bathroom and you'll see me using the Jaws cleaning products, which I've been using for, I think since like February or March and I truly stand behind their products. And I think what I love most about their products, especially recently, is I can find them. You can order them offline and they are in stock, even the disinfectant. It's near impossible for me to find any bathroom cleaning products at our stores. Like I honestly, when you go into the bathroom cleaning product section, completely empty. And it's just frustrating that it's still like that. And it's just nice to know that during these times, I can still get Jaws cleaning products. I can still get disinfectant if I want to. So again, if you're interested, use my code and my link in the description. It's not... This is not sponsored or anything by them. I don't get a commission from this code. So 25% off to save you some money and it just gets sent straight to your house. Everyone else who has tried them has told me they really, really like using them. And I encourage you, if you guys ever try a cleaning product I recommend, give me your feedback. I wanna know what you guys think about it. I wanna know. So if you're thinking about trying them out, definitely go ahead and try them out now, but use the code and save yourself some money.
So after I was done with the girls' bathroom, I wanted to pop into Avery's room and pick everything up. The twins have been playing in her, her room a little bit. Obviously, Mike or I are in there with them because Avery has a lot of like little toys like Barbies and stuff, but Avery thinks it's fun to have her sisters in her room, which kind of makes me laugh because I, I'm wondering if she's still going to feel that way in another like six months or a year or even a couple of years down the road, but the twins had made a lot of the messes in her room, so I wanted to go in and clean all of that up, and then much later after the kids go to bed, Mike and I were going to fold laundry to kind of round out the chores for the day thank you so much for sticking around until the very end you guys are amazing i appreciate each and every one of you and i hope you know i truly mean that please say hi to me in the comment section let me know where you're from come find me on instagram make sure you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my videos and i will see you next time Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a super extreme clean with me. It was the day after Christmas. My house was a disaster, a complete mess. So I was going to be cleaning up all of the toys, organizing, decluttering, pulling out appliances, deep cleaning under them, cleaning outdoor windows, and just doing it all. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house, getting things back in order before the new year, and I hope you'll join me and get some things done together. So it was December 26th, the day after Christmas, and I woke up ready to go. But I'll admit to you guys, I actually did not wake up literally ready to go. I was kind of groggy. You guys know how it is when you're parents um, after the holidays. It's like a whirlwind. So I kind of woke up feeling a little groggy, but there's nothing more motivating than looking at your house and seeing how much of a disaster it is. So we had a lot of fun on Christmas. We enjoyed our time as a family. Um, and there's obviously evidence of how much fun we had and how much we relaxed. So I woke up determined once I had my coffee to get up and get the house cleaned up. I wanted to put all of the Christmas decorations away. So I'm going to be undecorating for Christmas, organizing toys, putting toys where they like new toys away, decluttering, deep cleaning. I'm going to be pulling out my washer and dryer to deep clean under them because I had gotten a new cleaning tool that's pretty amazing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So it's also really satisfying. So I hope you will join me for a full day. Like I clean literally all day long. Um, I hope you will join me for eight hours of cleaning. And by the end of this video, I can guarantee you will be motivated to get at least one thing done. So I got really lucky this day because the twins were still sleeping. Um, like they were sleeping super late. I think they slept until after 11 a.m. Like how crazy is that? And you're probably going to say, well, what time did they go to bed? They went to bed at 8 p.m. It was so crazy. My husband, Mike, was going to be hanging with the kids all day long because obviously I always talk about how we work as a team. So I was going to be tackling the cleaning and the organizing and the decluttering and putting everything away. And he was on kid duty, hanging with the kids. Um, so it was actually kind of nice that they were sleeping later because Mike and Avery were kind of relaxing upstairs together. And I honestly enjoyed it because I was like, 
I was, you know, ready to go, ready to get stuff done. And I wanted to be alone. Like, I just didn't want any distractions. I didn't want to be interrupted. So I'm like, you guys, yeah, stay upstairs. Everyone stay upstairs. I was glad the twins were sleeping. Um, so like, I didn't have to hear them. You know what I mean? Because it's hard to be doing, trying to do other things and hearing your kids. So they were relaxing and I was just getting stuff done putting things away, throwing out garbage, trying to separate all of the toys into different piles. So the plan was to put one pile where things needed to go, like so downstairs, upstairs, um, and then periodically grabbing Christmas decorations and piling them up so I could put those in the plastic bins to put them away in the storage. Photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass I keep I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas or holiday. We really, really did. And as you can see um, by the evidence in our house, and I will tell you that all of the toys that you're seeing, they were not all bought by us or from Santa. They actually came from, a lot of them came from extended family who sent them in the mail, dropped them off. Um, we have a big extended family. Um, all of our aunts and uncles, so like my husband and I, like all of our aunts and uncles buy our kids stuff and then you know our kids have aunts and uncles and um, grandparents and all of that and they donate money to their you know education funds um, they get a lot of books and games and stuff but yes there is a lot our kids are are um, very blessed and they are grateful you guys are new to my channel if you've never seen my videos hello i have three daughters twins that will be two in march and then avery my oldest will be six in april so we are busy life is crazy especially with the twins um we don't really sit down very often and i honestly feel like i'm losing my mind half of the time but it's just the season of life we're in at least that's what i try to remind myself um i'm gonna miss this one day so i'm trying to soak it all up as much as i can even though i'm tired every single day every minute of every day even though i get plenty of sleep um, um, and sometimes I want to lose my mind, but I'm grateful and thankful for our life. I really enjoy creating videos here on my Jamie's Journey channel. A lot of cleaning, organization, decluttering, routines, mom life. I'm very passionate about organizing and decluttering. It's fun for me and I want to be able to make it easier for you. So hopefully I can give you tips and tricks um, in my videos or cleaning tools or cleaning products that will make your life easier. I want you guys to come to my channel and feel like you belong here. Um, I also want you to look and say, okay, well, she's not perfect. Her house isn't perfect. Her house is messy, but that's real life. So I hope I can motivate you, give you guys some sort of inspiration in your daily life. And I just want you to know that I'm here for you. I'm your friend, hopefully help you make your life a little bit easier. I would love to have you guys join my journey and subscribe. Okay, so I had not planned on cleaning my carpets, but coffee had gotten spilled on Christmas morning, thanks to Emery, one of my twins. Um, so Emery had knocked over my coffee, and then I actually had spilled coffee. It was Emery again, um, not too long ago, right by the couch. It was a couple of weeks ago, and I had tried my best to clean it up with some spray cleaner that we have, but it just didn't do the trick. So I figured while I was deep cleaning, in that deep cleaning mode, I would bust out my trusty little carpet cleaner and clean up those spots So make sure you guys stick around because I got this brand new hand steamer. It's actually a clean steamer. 
Um, and when I moved my washer and dryer out, there was some really gross messes under there. And this cleaner just literally sprayed it all away. It was amazing. But I will tell you guys, it's crazy removing all of the Christmas decorations because um, our house has really changed a lot in the past couple of months. So we got our kitchen cabinets painted in September. They were dark and they got painted white we had our fall decorations up and then we got our new gray couch here in december so our house really has changed a lot um since i had my like everyday decorations out so it's just crazy because now i'm pulling out my everyday decorations and i'm like i don't like these i want to change it up so i'm going to change it up i want to get new you know like furniture pieces and stuff but um i've said this before and you guys are always so sweet but decorating all of that is very um it takes a lot of energy out of me um it's very exhausting for me um so i just need a breather and then when the new year starts i'll start devoting some energy to that but i'm excited to switch things up and get things where i want it to be but at the same time i have to be in the right headspace so i'll give it some a few weeks so hold tight with me guys So before the twins went down for their nap, I wanted to get started in the laundry room because their bedroom is right by the laundry room. So I had Mike pull out the washer and the dryer. Um, and actually what sparked this was some laundry had fallen behind the washer and dryer. And when I peeked behind there, I could see how dirty it was. And it made me want to pull out the washer and dryer and clean behind it. And it ended up being perfect timing with my new hand steamer because it had just came in the mail recently. And I was like, I think this might be perfect. Like I was not going to use it for under there because um, I had not planned to. But then I was like, I think this might be perfect. So that's what I ended up using to clean under the washer and dryer. So I'll have this hand steamer linked below. It's basically just a little hand steamer that can be used for cleaning. I have a whole list of different areas in the home um, that I can't wait to try it out and clean with it. And like I said, I had honestly not planned on using this um, because I didn't plan on cleaning under my washer and dryer, but it all just kind of seemed like perfect timing when it arrived. So it was kind of nice because a lot of the stuff under the washer and dryer was really stuck on the tile. And I was just able to use the steam to blow it all away. And it didn't work perfectly. I wasn't able to get everything off of the tile. But I'm like, if the steamer is not going to get stuff off, I don't know what would. There was obviously a lot of rust back here. And it the steamer did get some of the rust off. And it made, made it look a lot better. But it didn't get all of the rust off. So I may have to try a more specific cleaner that is made for rust. But... I had to do very minimal scrubbing, which was great, and it probably cut my cleaning time on the floor in half, if not more.
So there were two areas on the grout that the steamer didn't fully clean. So I figured why not try my trusty go-to Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner. So I tried that on there. I scrubbed it with my Rubbermaid Power Scrubber and it really didn't make much of a difference. I'm not really surprised because I feel like the steamer would probably clean anything that could come off. Um, so I didn't really notice a difference, maybe a little bit more fading, but nothing crazy. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try because I love my foaming carpet cleaner to clean my grout. When I was done cleaning under the washer and dryer, I was just going to finish up the laundry room while I was in there. So, you know, I'm um, wiping things down. I was gonna vacuum and mop with my e-cloth mop, which I love, and um, also clean the rest of the grout with my steamer. So I want to know from you guys, how did your Christmas go? How did your holiday go? I hope you had a great holiday and it was as normal as a holiday could go in 2020. Are you guys ready for the new year? I don't even think I need to ask because I'm pretty sure everyone is super excited for the new year. I'm just in general ready for a fresh start. I just want to get back to normal a little bit. I've um, been thinking about this a lot lately and I was talking to Mike my husband about this but I find that the twins specifically they're starting to lose it a little bit more in the house so I'm just ready to get more back to normal um, and we also live in Ohio so we it's super cold you guys can see snow on the ground so it's like not that like it's hard to get outside you know and so um, like Avery goes to school four days a week so she's gone four days a week but the twins they're not and you know it's not even just the pandemic necessarily but I mean who wants it's not really ideal to take 20 month old twins out in general to the store like even if it wasn't the pandemic like would we be itching to take three kids including twins who are 20 months to a restaurant or to a store probably not so then you add everything else onto that and it's like well it's just a lot easier if just I go to the store or I pick up groceries or you know we have food delivered or whatever so but then I realized that the twins aren't learning like they don't go out very often or they're not learning the skills of what it's like to like a toddler learns when you go to a restaurant how to act and how to occupy you know entertain yourself so I don't know I'm just ready to get back to normal Maybe you got me.
I'm going to put my Instagram right here on the screen. I'll also have it linked in the description. You guys can come over and find me over there. I share more about my life, my kids, more of my personal life. So I would love if you guys came over and found me on Instagram. So once I was done with the living room, I was going to go downstairs and clean up the basement. And at first I was going to have Avery come down and help me because obviously she was one of the three kids who made this mess. But honestly, I started thinking about it and I didn't want her to help me because I wanted to organize all of the new toys and put things back, kind of find a, a new place for everything first. You know what I mean? Like figure out where I wanted everything to go for the first time. And then that way, like moving forward, we know where things go. And it honestly worked out because she was helping Mike with the twins. So when you guys are watching me, it's not like, oh, I'm just cleaning. It's so easy. I mean, Mike was being super dad, like just taking care of the kids, like literally all day, um, because all of this stuff needed to be done. I mean, it had been forever since I had vacuum and mopped and organized and cleaned you know what I mean um so he was taking care of the twins and Avery was helping um she was like helping feed them lunch and doing everything and just being a big help and playing with them and so she's always a huge help coloring and painting um and doing activities with them so honestly like even though she's not helping me clean and it just looks like I'm cleaning up her messes like she was being a big help in another way so it kind of worked out for both of us Okay, so these are all of the games and puzzles that Aver got for Christmas and I was going to organize them and I had ordered these bags, which I'll show you what I'm talking about if you haven't seen this before, but I realize they are too small. So I don't know if I ordered the wrong ones or if they sent me the wrong ones. So I'm gonna have to send those back. But, um, so this is what I ended up doing. So this is what I ended up doing recently. You can see these bags um, and then I have the baskets. And so you basically take the board game out of the big bulky box or the puzzles, like these are puzzles. So all of the, our puzzles are in here um, and it just takes up a lot less space. A lot, it's, you know, it's not as bulky, we can fit more in here. And so instead of, you know, using all of that space right here, um, we can basically put them in boxes and then keep them down here. And then the goal or the idea behind it was, okay, so if we have the baskets up here, then when there's like a ton of kids over, you know how they can get pretty messy. I just have to grab, or if the twins come down here, I can just grab these baskets um, and kind of put them up higher or stick them in the bathroom just because I don't want them getting into all of the little pieces. So it just allows you to have so much more space and just an even easier way. So like if we're going to visit one of our parents and we want to take the matching game, you know, we can just take this instead of worrying about taking the box and pieces falling out of the box and all of that. So I was going to organize these, um, but obviously, like I said, I got the wrong size bags. You can see these are pretty, pretty big size. So I'm going to have to go ahead and order some new ones. Um, but yeah, I'll probably show that in my next video for you guys, just so you guys can see how I did that. I did have one bag um, left over from when I did the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead. I just took, just take trouble out of the box.
All right, it's time for the giveaway question. And the question is, what do you love about the city you live in? I'm trying to keep a positive vibe going here. And I just love that I live in a bigger town with a small town feel. A town where a lot of people know each other and it's always chosen as one of the top cities to raise a family in Ohio. So let me know what you love about the city you live in. This giveaway will end on June 6th, 2021 at 1159 Eastern Standard Time. I use a random comment generator online that pulls the responses and randomly picks a winner. I will contact the winner by responding to their original comment. So check your YouTube notifications. Once they accept the giveaway reward, I will announce the winner on my YouTube community tab and on my Instagram. Go ahead. Give your answer and keep watching for some more gross messes and more organizing and decluttering motivation. What sounds crazy, but I recently used them in my master shower and it was so satisfying, so amazing and such a good cleaner um, that I just wanted to try it out in the girls' bathroom um, and give their tub a really good scrub since I hadn't scrubbed it very well or cleaned it very well in a while. But I will have them linked below if you guys want to check them out i also have them i also have the video where i cleaned my master shower linked in the description where you can check it out but we actually took the shower doors off to really give them a good clean and it's it's pretty amazing so you definitely need to go check that video out when you're done here So I was, while I was cleaning the rest of the house, like I said, Mike was hanging with the twins and Avery and they were playing a lot and the twins pretty much decimated Avery's room, as you guys can tell. And they've been doing this a lot lately, lately. So if you're not new to my channel, you've seen this happen. The twins love Avery's room. They love it, which I'm sure that's not going to change at all. As they grow older, they're probably always going to love their bigger, their big sister's bedroom. Um, but they made a huge mess in here and Avery had been such a big help all day long that um, while I was cleaning and organizing that I told her I would clean it up for her and make her room look nice. Like I said earlier, she helped feed them lunch. She was coloring and painting with them. They did kinetic sand. Um, so I told her I'd give her room a good cleaning. And if you know, you're a mom, you've been a mom, you understand what I'm talking about. It's like sometimes those little things it's like thank you for occupying them or letting me get this done and she's just such a good big sister and so i wanted to take care of her room for her true talent in avoiding conversation yeah it's almost rather cruel oh i know he got me good in his pocket i know that i'm just a treat So the vacuum it started out this way i'm sure you guys saw it on the video 
and then it turned around and then went back over, which is kind of nice. So I got a double vacuum, which her bedroom def def desperately needed. And this is just my favorite part because look how things are just looking cleaner, less cluttered. It feels good to start out the new year like this. All right. Who here has loads of laundry to fold that they're backed up because of the holidays? Is it just me? Um, and honestly, I haven't even done laundry today yet. So I think I have about two to three loads, which I'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fold this. This is like backed up from the past two days. So I'm gonna fold this and then put it all away. So once I got all of the laundry folded, I went and put it all away. Um, and I think the difference between Mike and I, so uh, I've said this before and I always just want to make for sure I give him credit because I'll get comments from time to time and people always think that I'm the one doing all of the work and I can assure you I'm not. And even if I am doing most of the cleaning, which he does a lot, a lot. Um, but even if I am doing a lot of the cleaning, like he's always watching the girls, you know what I mean? So, um, but the one difference is um, he will fold the laundry, but then he just lets it sit in the basket or he'll put it in the rooms. So he'll put it in the girls' rooms, but he just sets it on their dresser. And to me, if you're doing the laundry, you put it in the washer, you put it in the dryer, you fold it and you put it all away. It's not, laundry's not done until it's put away. So I like to just get it all put away because I know that if I just set it on the dresser, it's just going to stay there. So I wanted to get everything put away. Um, and then we had recently bought a box of diapers. So I wanted to put those or get them out of the box and put them in the dresser. We've been playing his So I've said this a lot, but I have a lot of new projects, um, organizing and decluttering projects for the new year, and I'm really excited. I always feel like the new year is a fresh start. Um, we always have more time, and I mean, obviously, I think most of the time people have more time right now, um, but just in general, like things just like really fall off after the new year. So more time and energy to put towards cleaning and organizing. But what type of projects are you focusing on in the new year? Like, what do you want to prioritize? What do you want to start out? What do you want to really tackle right away? Um, are there any organizing or decluttering projects specifically? I always find um, that there's almost this renewed sense of motivation in the new year. You know, like fresh start. Um, let's start tackling room by room. So that's my plan. But let me know what you guys are focusing on. Single grain of sand I'm drifting on it 
But then I was just wiping down the bathroom, um, master bathroom, just doing a quick wipe down with some disinfecting wipes, you know, just trying to go as quick as possible and doing like the bare minimum. Um, I was going to wipe down the toilet and then vacuum. And then that was it for the day. It was a long day, but I'll tell you, I felt so good when the day was done because this was all stuff that needed to be done. You know what I mean? So I felt great um, and happy that things were put back in place and I'm ready for the new year. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys next week. I'll be resuming my two videos a week next week for the new year. I hope you guys have a happy new year. Bye. Okay, so now it's time. This is the cleaning tool I've been talking about all video long. It is the Rubbermaid Power Scrubber. It comes with two different heads. And so I I guess what sparked this or sparked wanting me to try this out was a couple of weeks ago, you guys probably saw in my video, I was cleaning and I didn't even think about cleaning the drain in the sink, but I had come across a drain that was super gross. And I thought, maybe there's a better way to clean this. And I was kind of researching online and I came across this tool and I thought it would be perfect to get in all of the creases and the crevices, all of those areas that are really hard to clean. I thought this would do a really good job of kind of loosening all of that gunk and all of the gross stuff that you get in hard to reach places. And so I thought I would try it out. It ended up working really, really well on my drain. And then I was like, maybe I'll take it into my shower. And I wanted to use it on the door tracking and then in the corners of the the doors where soap scum and whatever else, I, I don't even know what you want to call it, all of the gross stuff that kind of like collects in the corners. And so it was just so crazy how well this worked. So what I did was I would use the Rubbermaid power scrubber to get in there and loosen everything up. And then I would take in a wipe and just kind of wipe everything up. And I feel like this is so gross. I'm a little embarrassed for you guys to see this, but who knows how long all of this had been in there. And I just feel like this is a miracle cleaning tool that you need. And I just can't wait to try it on so many other areas all over my house. Watch me Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't tell what you need
I know it looks like the mattress was getting super wet, but I was really careful because I didn't want to get it too wet. And then when I sucked up the water from the mattress, I made sure that I kept going until there was no more water getting sucked back up. And the mattress actually ended up drying pretty quickly. It was all dry before Avery went to bed this night. Hey guys, I'm Jamie, and did you just see my to-do list? I have a lot I need to get done in the next two days, and I am bringing you along. We're going to be doing so much cleaning. I'm going to be cleaning my whole house and doing a lot of deep cleaning outside. You guys are going to see me go places I've never gone before, cleaning places I've never cleaned before. I'm going to be scrubbing out my outdoor garbage can and recycling bin i have never cleaned those before but i was recently inspired to do that and you're going to see me power washing them and then scrubbing them from the inside so let's get ready let's get down and dirty and let's get ready to get things done So I started out the first day of cleaning by making my bed and earlier this morning I had noticed that we had a lot of cat fur pushed up against the baseboards so I figured before I went outside to do some deep cleaning I was going to vacuum around the baseboards and take care of all of that. So our cat likes to sit right there in the corner and I just got tired of seeing all of the fur up there against the baseboards and it kind of grossed me out. So I wanted to take care of that first and foremost, but then I was going to go downstairs and I wanted to clean up my kitchen cabinets, wipe them all down before going outside. It was kind of rainy outside at this point in the morning and very gloomy. So I was waiting for the rain to stop before I went out there. To wipe down my cabinets, I was just using a microfiber cloth and then some Dawn and water. We recently had our cabinets painted and as a lot of you guys know, um, I love my white cabinets by the way, but when the painters came in to paint the cabinets, when they left, they said when you're cleaning, just use a very gentle cleaner. You don't need to use any harsh chemicals or anything, just use a... Um, a, a basic cleaner and so I was using Dawn which has a neutral pH it's mild but it also does a really good job of removing grease if I'm the bad one take a look at yourself in the mirror if I'm the worst one ask anybody else who did 
holding up right now i like creating a community here on youtube and i'm always talking to you but you guys don't really get to talk back as much so i'm curious how you guys are holding up with you know if you're homeschooling your kids or maybe your school your kids are in school and that can be a little stressful holidays are coming up and there's just a lot going on in the united states and in the world right now so I'm just curious how you guys are doing, how you're holding up. I hope you're doing all right. If there's anything that you're going through, you need someone to talk to, you can always message me. I'm always here to help you guys out. I want my channel to be an escape for you, bring you joy and happiness, and hopefully I can create a space for you like that when you're watching my videos or you're watching my stories on Instagram. <laughs> It was a Saturday and I have my little helper Avery with me. She's five and if you guys are new to my channel, my husband um, was hanging with our 18 month old twins. So we have three daughters, 18 month old twins, and then a five year old. So a lot of people will ask me what my husband is doing while I'm cleaning and 99% of the time he's with the twins because they can't just come outside and help me like Avery likes to do. He's a really great dad and loves being around all three of our girls. So it's always easy for me to get stuff done because I don't have to worry about the kids. You know, even though I try to work my stuff around their nap time, um, it's obviously not always easy to do that or I can't always do that. So he's always here to help me get things done. your letter guess this is better you win sometimes lose sometimes no need to apologize it was the distance we have between us it broke us down in disguise no need to apologize I live in the northern part of Ohio and at this point in the year it's pretty cold. I got really lucky today. It was fairly mild. I think it was in the high 50s so it was a perfect day to finish up cleaning outside and if you miss my video from last week I deep cleaned the back part of our house. I will have that video linked down below if you want to check it out. So today I'm focusing on the front part of our house. I'm not going to get to do this for many months. So I had planned on cleaning the windows, cleaning our screens, the window screens, power washing the front porch. And then again, I'm going to be cleaning our garbage can and recycling bin. And what a task that was. You guys have to see me crawl into the garbage can but the best solution to clean windows is just water and dawn if you're curious and then I have this little handy window cleaning tool that lets me get all of my windows nice and clean see I'll try to let go it's not easy you know something's not meant to be let's skip the apologies ooh, ooh. can help that I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at a moment 
something They keep coming back to me yeah. I can't help that I miss you now Can't help that I miss you now. To clean my window screens, which I will admit to you, it has been years since my window screens have been cleaned, but I used ammonia and water. You just take three parts water and one part ammonia, and I put on my gloves to protect my hands and just used a microfiber cloth, and they were pretty dirty. If you guys have Instagram, I would love for you to come over and find me, say hi. I love chatting with you over there as well as here on YouTube, but feel free to leave a comment on this video where we can chat and create more of a community, but I also love chatting with you over on Instagram. A lot of you guys will, you know, private message me, and if you want to know more about my life, more about my kids, more than just cleaning, that's where you can find all of that Jamie content. I will have my Instagram linked below. I'll admit to you guys, I'm going to be a little bit sad when it's like full on winter here because I'm not going to be able to put, bust out my power washer for like six or seven months. I probably won't even be able to bust it out in April because even then it'll probably still be a little chilly. So I'm enjoying this power washer right now. All right, so the girls had baked ziti for lunch, and this was a mess. And I'll admit to you guys, I kind of let them have the baked ziti because I knew I had the power washer out, and I could just bring these babies outside, clean up the mess super easily. Um, Baked ziti is one of the twins' favorite meals, and I love that they love it. I mean, who doesn't love baked ziti, spaghetti, lasagna, or meals like that? But it's just so messy, especially with twins, and I hate messes. So just makes it easier that I can bring the high chairs out here and power wash all of that away.
right, so this is what I've been waiting to do. Is it it's yucky. <laughs> I'm not getting in there. I'm not swimming in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we are going to clean this out. Ooh. And clean this one out too. So I got to actually tip it over to get all of that stuff out. But we're going to do this, guys. So I promise we recycle, but I think the milk jug and Mountain Dew jug had gotten out of the recycling bin and Avery had accidentally put it in the garbage. So I removed the rest of that stuff from the garbage bin and then I power washed everything. The power washer honestly took care of most of the crud that was in there. And you can even see some paint chips that we had on here, which I'm not even sure why we had paint chips on there but it did come right off with the power washer. So I just had to keep power washing it, dumping all the water out, and then I added some Dawn dish soap. And then I power washed it all again. And you can see Avery here in a little bit. She was having fun playing in all of the water that was going down the driveway. Um, you could also use bleach if you're cleaning out your garbage can or if you have a garbage can that was really bad, try using bleach. But I wanted to start and go as mild as possible and luckily the Dawn and power washer took care of all of the gross mess that was in there. to show it to you oh yeah you can't see it here so we had some paint chips in here that I was able to get off I wasn't able to get all of them but there was a big paint big one that came off that there was like a piece of cardboard paper sign that was stuck at the bottom but I'll probably give it one more pass through but I think this looks pretty good Okay, one more thing. What I'm going to do is now that I am done cleaning the garbage can, I'm going to put in some cleaning vinegar. This is different than just regular white distilled vinegar. It's stronger. You cannot consume this. So I usually keep this around um, for the tough jobs. And so I'm going to put this in the bottom of the garbage can and kind of let it sit for a few hours um, before we dump it out and that'll just deodorize it and add some extra cleaning power before we throw in the garbage. <laughs> I know this is gross, but honestly, it was a lot of fun for me to clean the garbage can and recycling bin. And maybe you guys think I'm crazy, but it was just fun. It was a little different for me, and it was also very satisfying to see everything come clean. But when I'm done with this, I was going to be done for the day. But then on day two, you're going to see me clean the rest of the house. So stay tuned for way more cleaning motivation.
Hey friends, I hope you're ready for a two day super extreme clean with me. And I know I've said this before, but I promise you this video is the biggest and the most extreme cleaning video I have ever done. I took off my shower doors so I could deep clean them and the tracking. There was so much soap scum and gross buildup on them. I have new power drill attachments to really cut all of that gross soap scum off of them. I have my carpet cleaner I busted out to clean my parents' white area rugs. I took apart my Dyson vacuum cleaner to clean it. I'll be cleaning bathrooms, floors, laundry room, all of that disinfecting but i hope you're ready for some extreme speed cleaning all over my home and hopefully by the end of this video you are ready to get things done So on day one, I was planning on doing a lot of deep cleaning and it was a Saturday. So um, my husband was going to be hanging with the girls and I woke up early to get started. And I wanted to start out by picking up the living room and the kitchen, wiping down the back hallway before taking my shower doors off so I could deep clean them and the shower door tracking. <laughs> um, they were pretty dirty and I had my new amazing cleaning tools I was going to use on them. Um, but picking up the kitchen and the living room was kind of like my pre-workout, get my blood pumping before the deep cleaning. If this is your first time here, hello. I am truly glad you're here and I mean that when I say that. I'm Jamie. I am a wife and a mother, wife to Mike and mom to three girls, a five-year-old and then twins who are 20 months old. And my goal is to provide you with weekly motivation, cleaning, organization, decluttering, just mom life in general. And I hope I can show you real life messes because life is messy at least with 20 month old twins, life is messy. So hopefully when you guys come here, you see that I'm not perfect. I do love to clean and organize, but my house never stays clean for too long. But hopefully we can do it together. We can get it done together. My goal is to try to make your life a little bit easier, providing you with motivation, top cleaning products and tools, shortcuts, um, cleaning hacks, all of that. So even if you guys are just here to watch, you know, maybe you look at me as a friend, kind of like we're hanging out, or maybe I can provide just an escape from your stressful life. I'm here for you guys. I would love to have you guys subscribe and join my journey. I have a lot, a ton of fun videos planned for the new year, a lot of decluttering and organizing. So I can't wait. So I wanted to quickly wipe down my stove. Um, it didn't need a deep clean or anything. So when I just wipe it down, I use my Jaws degreaser spray. So I just sprayed it on there. I wanted to let it sit for a few minutes and then I was going to wipe it off and you'll see how good of a job it did. But I also noticed that there was some food and crumbs stuck between the counter and the stove. And so one of my favorite cleaning hacks is taking a wipe, wrapping it around a butter knife, and it allows you to get into those cracks. And I know a lot of people have said that you could actually buy things like little silicone um, 
things to put over the crack so things don't fall through there. But honestly, I don't mind doing this. I mean, I always have wipes on hand, obviously a butter knife, and it takes less than 20 seconds to do. Say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt. Stay with me until the last man falls. I don't need them anyway. When I'm with you, I have it all. Oh, I'll never let you slip away Oh, and you don't have to be afraid I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time So before I went upstairs to really deep clean the master bathroom, I wanted to wipe down the back hallway. We've had a lot of winter weather lately, a lot of snow, and so I find that this back hallway gets beat up a lot with the snow and the salt and the ice. So I first went in with my magic eraser to get all of the marks and dirt off of the door. And then afterwards, I went in with a microfiber cloth with some hot water and Dawn dish soap to wipe everything away. And the magic eraser does a good job of getting things um, dirt off and marks off of the walls and baseboards but sometimes when it's wet it kind of drips dirty water um, from the sponge so i like going in afterwards with a rag to kind of wipe everything down so i wanted to throw in some blankets they were just blankets that we kind of keep around the house for lounging in the living room and stuff and i wanted to wash those because i haven't washed them in a while so i threw those in and then i went into our master bathroom to pick things off of the vanity um, while mike was taking off of the shower glass doors and i didn't even know if this would be possible i had asked him a while back if it would be possible because there were just i noticed that there were areas that i couldn't get to with cleaning inside so i'm so glad i did because you can see all of the buildup, the areas that had never been cleaned on the doors and in the tracking and it just allowed me to get everything really deep cleaned so i found um or actually i saw these drill cleaning drill chat attachments in um cambria's channel living with cambria and i was like as soon as i saw them i was like i need those so i got them from amazon and i will have them linked below but it came with three different attachments and i ended up using two out of the three you just snap it in your power drill and i was kind of laughing because i typically don't use a power drill um, mike does all of the stuff that needs to be done with the power drill but i was learning how to use it and it was just doing a really good job of busting all of that soap scum up and I didn't even have to scrub or anything. And I think this was the perfect cleaning tool for this job. There was literally dirt just spraying everywhere or whatever you want to call it spraying all over the tub but i was loving it because it just felt so powerful with these tools and i knew i was busting up a lot of that stuff But stay tuned because there's a lot more cleaning left in this video. After I cleaned the bathroom, I took the twins to my parents' house to say hi, and I cleaned their white area rugs that had never been cleaned before. And then I came back and took apart my Dyson vacuum to deep clean that. So a lot more cleaning left in this video.
So I was using the same drill attachment that I, I had used on the tracking for the door to get into the corners. And then I ended up switching the drill attachment here in a little bit to um, when I cleaned the actual glass part of the door. So even though I frequently clean these, you can see some of that white buildup on there. But the drill did take some of that off, but I needed to get more of a flat drill attachment to get the entire door. And you're never going to believe what I used to get all of that soap scum off. So I love my Jaws cleaning products. I truly think they're some of the best cleaning products around. But this was a job for a heavy duty cleaner. And because a lot of... Um, there was a lot of soap scum specifically in the bottom areas there was just a lot of soap scum buildup, and it's just an area that i never get to clean because it's where the tracking doors overlap so i can't even clean those when even if i wanted to so i actually used powdered tide laundry detergent um, and hot water so i put that in a spray bottle um, and i've been talking about using this for my floors um, when i mop but i'm telling you Powdered Tide is a game-changing cleaner. If you follow the Instagram account Go Clean Co, she um, owns a cleaning company in Canada, and she uses Tide, Powdered Tide, and water and um, other stuff all over her house to clean. And she swears that it's like the best cleaner ever. So I figured for this job, I needed the big guns, and I busted it out, and it did a really good job. So I tried my best to show you guys what the shower doors looked like when I was done um, and how clean they were. It's kind of hard to show you on camera, but the powdered Tide and the drill attachment really allowed me to get all of that soap scum off with minimal effort. If I had to scrub this by hand, it would have taken me so much longer. But if you don't follow that account, Go Clean Co, go follow her. She gives so many cleaning tips and I've been starting to use powdered Tide in my home and it really is a great cleaner, um, but it has to be powdered Tide because it's the enzyme, enzymes and active ingredients that really work. They better start hiding We'll be running with the lions, lions so you guys will see me using the jaws foaming bathroom cleaner here um to wipe down the sink and i just love i can't sing the praises of the jaws cleaning products enough you obviously saw me use the degreaser in the kitchen and i think it's a great degreaser to use when i don't want to deep clean or i don't need to deep clean my stovetop um and i also love the foaming bathroom cleaner i like the granite cleaner um so much the disinfectant which i'll use later in the video but i do have a code for you guys to save 25 percent off if you want to try them you get them online and you just get pods. You drop the pods in the bottles so the bottles are reusable. It takes up less space, less waste, and they are truly great cleaning products. So many of you guys have messaged me and said you love them as well. Um, and I don't receive a commission. I just like telling you guys that because um, I don't receive a commission if you purchase, use my code or my link. I'm just telling you this because I think they're great cleaning products. Um, but then when I was done wiping down the vanity, I was going to clean the floors and I was going to use my um, new Bona antibacteria floor cleaner to spray in the areas where when I was cleaning and using the drill attachment, some specks of stuff had sprayed onto the floor. So I wanted to, to use the antibacteria floor cleaner. And then afterwards, I was going to go and mop with my e-cloth mop, which I also love, 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 love. You just use water and it, the mop pad actually attracts bacteria. Um, and I have a coupon code for that as well. Say that you are, you are the one I need. I wanna say that you are the one who's making me breathe. I hope that you can stay here, yeah, you can stay the night. I hope that you can stay with me. 
we've all been really sick the past couple of weeks um, and the girls have had runny noses and all of that so i wanted to spray down some of their stuffed animals with this um, tide antibacterial cleaner and let them dry before they had to go down later on at night And when I was done cleaning the vents, I was going to go to my parents and clean their white area rugs. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a super filthy extreme whole house clean with me. This video, I did not have intentions of it being filthy filthy cleaning at all but i found some really gross messes in my home as i was cleaning one in particular was in the bathroom and i was so grossed out by it so get ready for a lot of deep cleaning getting into the nitty gritty and getting things done it will be so satisfying as i check things off of my to-do list and i hope i can motivate you to create a to-do list of your own and get at least one thing done today so let's do this guys So this will be cleaning over two days, like a two day span. And you guys know how it goes with me. Even when I clean in one day, it's literally cleaning all day long on and off as I do, you know, other mom things. But I started out on day one by pulling all of the bedding off of our beds. I wanted to get them all washed. And I find that if I pull all of the bedding off first thing in the morning, that I'm more likely to get things done get things done and get all done if i throw our bedding if i throw like our master bedding in first and then wait for that to be done before i put in avery's or the twins bedding i feel like sometimes i get sidetracked and it doesn't get done so if i pull it all off put it in the hallway it always gets done my list of things I wanted to accomplish over the next two days I had a lot I wanted to do and I will give you guys a little spoiler alert I wasn't even able to finish this list there was one thing that I wasn't able to accomplish um, because I ended up spending more time when I found those filthy gross messes in my home um, and I'm not lying to you guys um, I had not planned on cleaning my dishwasher but when I went to unload it in the morning which you'll see here in a minute I noticed how most of the dishes were not fully cleaned so I decided to deep clean the dishwasher and then um, I found some other messes that I needed to tend to. So I was using my new handy steam cleaner, my handheld steam cleaner to clean the bathroom. And then when I got under the toilet, I'm sorry if you're eating or anything or this is too gross, but pee was coming out from under the toilet, which you'll see that as well. It's lovely, um, but it's real life, I guess. I hope it's real life for everyone and not just me, but stay tuned for a lot of satisfying cleaning all over my home.
if you guys have never been to my channel i want to introduce myself i hope when you come to my channel you feel motivated and inspired you feel like you're a part of a team part of a community because you belong here and i want to build a community that will help you in some way life is not easy i know it's not and i'm not perfect but i just try my best every day and i want to motivate you guys to get things done even if it's little by little i'm always here for you guys message me if you have an issue a problem but i would love to have you guys join my journey i'm a busy mom to three kids so life is crazy but we are in this together okay so you saw how dirty my dishwasher was well that dishwasher was quote unquote clean that stuff was stuck on there even after it ran a full cycle so i decided it obviously needed clean this was a not on my list of things to do but obviously it needed to be done so i first pulled out the filter and then cleaned that luckily it came clean pretty quickly just by rinsing and then i started to wipe things out um, but there was just so much gunk on the dishwasher and I was like, I think I have the tool for this job. I recently got a handheld steamer and it's the Bissell Steam Shot. And I got that baby out and I knew it would take care of the job. So I honestly don't know what's on the dishwasher door, but on the side where it looks like it's brown or black, that's coffee. It's not mold or anything, it's coffee. But how crazy is it that specifically on the door that all of that stuff was stuck on there because you know how hot it gets in a dishwasher. But I will tell you that after, a fully after I fully cleaned out the filter and then I did another full clean, like a clean cycle when I emptied um, or when I got done cleaning this, the next day when I emptied the dishwasher, everything was nice and clean. The talk about nothing, and I'm not wasting this moment. Even though I know that letting you go would be crazy. Say, think you know I want you for myself. I don't need anybody else. Wanna leave this place? We've been the dark where we can both hide. No one's gonna steal our time again. We don't have to say. I'll have my Instagram right here. I would love to have you guys come over and follow me over there. And if you do, make sure you say hi. it's just so crazy to me because if i didn't have the steam cleaner can you imagine how much or how long it would have taken me to clean this so once i was done with the dishwasher i have these little packets called lemmy shine i think that's the brand i got it from target you just sprinkle it in the bottom i know you can do vinegar and baking soda but I found these and I just wanted to try them. I've had them actually in my cleaning cabinet for a while. You sprinkle it in the bottom of your dishwasher and you run it 
Um, I just figured a little extra clean couldn't hurt. Um, but I was really motivated to use a steamer in other places in my home after the dishwasher. So you'll see me clean the bathroom here in a minute. And I was also going to clean some window tracking, but after using it in the bathroom, it sealed the deal. And I'm so glad I have this. Maybe you got me. So before I got to more deep cleaning, I wanted to um, kind of pick up the living room because originally I kind of, or what I normally do is I'll clean up the kitchen, like pick things up off of the floor and the countertops in the kitchen and in the living room, but I got sidetracked with my gross dishwasher. So I finished up cleaning the living room um, and I was having Avery help me. And then I was going to do a few more things in the kitchen, like wiping things down, vacuuming, mopping, wiping down the stove and the cabinets. But I'm using my Jaws granite cleaner for the countertops and then the Jaws kitchen degreaser for my stovetop. The stovetop ended up not being perfect, perfectly clean. I probably could have scrubbed it more, um, but honestly, I had other things I needed to move on to. So sometimes I can't be perfect with everything. It was good enough. I think the kitchen degreaser did a pretty good job. So. That was my stove. So I was planning on wiping down this bathroom. Um, it's the bathroom that's off of our kitchen and it gets used the most. So I was coming in here to kind of do a basic clean and I wasn't planning on doing anything too crazy in here, but I figured I would try the steamer out under the toilet because I always take a wipe and I'll get under there, but I figured why not use the steamer um, since there's that little crack, you know, where it meets the floor. And honestly, you guys, I did not expect pee to be flying out from under the toilet. I know it makes perfect sense, but it was so gross. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of you moms who have boys and you're probably like, yep, that's our every day. But I had, I just couldn't believe it. So um, I had a lot more on my to-do list, but I cannot wait to use all of, to use a steamer under all of the other toilets in my house. I'm sure you guys will see a lot more. Sorry if you guys think that it's gross because it is gross, but I guess I'm just showing you real life messes. I hope, I hope it's not just me. Jacket though is too cold, too cold. Saw your face 
Hey friends, I hope you're ready for a two-day super, super extreme and satisfying clean with me. I'm busting out my carpet cleaner and cleaning both set of our stairs, the carpet on our stairs. It, they have never been deep clean. I'm also going to be deep cleaning floors, cleaning up real life messes, and getting it all done. I hope you're ready for some extreme speed cleaning all over my home, and hopefully by the end of this video, you are motivated to get something done. And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time so on day one my twins went down for their afternoon nap so it was time to get started the plan for day one was really focusing on cleaning, deep cleaning the carpets on my stairs. My daughter Avery had spilled some Gatorade recently and it dawned on me that I had never really deep cleaned the stairs. I clean our carpets all of the time, but I'm just so focused on cleaning those main areas a lot that I, and then I'm too tired when it comes to the stairs. So I wanted to focus on that today. So I got started on our master bedroom and I wanted to do a quick pickup, cleanup, clean the windows outside before getting started downstairs and cleaning those carpets. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah if this is your first time here on my channel, hello, I'm Jamie. I'm truly glad you're here. Um, I am a wife to Mike and we are high school sweethearts. We met in middle school. I have, or we have three kids, a five-year-old and then twins who are 20 months old. And my goal here on my channel is to provide weekly motivation, cleaning, organization, decluttering, just mom life. I hope I can show you guys real life messes. Life is messy, um, at least with 20 month olds. And hopefully when you guys come here, you see that I'm not perfect. I love to clean and organize, but my house never stays clean for long, like maybe five minutes, if that. But hopefully we can do it together. We can get it done together. I'm going to try to make your life a little bit easier by providing you some motivation, top cleaning products, shortcuts, hacks, all of that. So even if you guys are just, you know, if I'm entertaining to you, maybe we're friends hanging out, or maybe I provide an escape from your crazy or stressful life i am here for you so i would just love to have you guys subscribe and join my journey i have a lot of fun videos coming up for the new year a lot of organizing and decluttering so i really can't wait So after I did a little bit upstairs, I wanted to start putting things away in the living room and the kitchen before I deep clean the stairs, um, the carpet on the stairs. So as you can see, my house was a disaster. We recently, unfortunately, had a death in the family and it was unexpected, not COVID related or anything, um, but it was on Thanksgiving. So we had the surfaces the day before I filmed this. So it had been a crazy previous week in the house and things had gotten rejected. That's what happens sometimes. Um, life had gotten in the way. So I was dedicating this day and the next day, a good chunk of the afternoon when the twins were napping to get things done, get things cleaned up, put away. Um, and then I was obviously going to tackle those stairs. And then on day two, you're gonna see me cleaning upstairs, cleaning grout, 
cleaning the laundry room, scrubbing bathroom floors and all of that. So a lot of motivating cleaning coming up. If you guys see my husband sitting over there in the back on the couch, he's working. He actually works from home, so he's not just sitting there with his feet kicked up while I work hard. Um, he works for an international company, and they're right now working from home. We don't know if that's going to be long term or not, but he was trying to get some work done too while the twins were napping. So when they go down for the nap, it's like crazy work mode trying to get things done. But I grabbed my carpet cleaner, which I love this thing. It's kind of pricey, but I have used it so much. And especially this one I like because it has an attachment. So that's how I'm able to clean the carpets on the stairs. And then you'll see me using this attachment on my furniture. I've used it on a mattress. So this machine has definitely gotten its money's worth. And like I said before, I've cleaned my carpets a lot, but I'm always just tired from doing the carpets in the main areas that I kind of forget about the stairs. This was a pretty tedious job. However, when I was seeing all of the dirty water get sucked back up into the machine, that's what kept me going. That's what kept me motivated to keep going because I know that it felt good that I was getting the stairs clean. And honestly, this is kind of like the first time I'm doing it. I'm probably going to have to go back and do it again because these stairs have never been cleaned. Um, I also planned on cleaning the stairs that go down into the basement as well and then I was going to clean the carpet in the upstairs hallway because I never clean that either. It's it's kind of like what I said before. Usually I focus on a room, the living room, um, the bedrooms, the basement, like the main rooms, but I kind of forget about the areas that aren't rooms like the stairs or the hallway. So I felt like that was perfect for today. I know if you guys are seeing this, you're probably like, I thought the twins were napping. How is she doing this upstairs? Well, they are napping. I just cranked up their sound machine and they slept right through the vacuuming and the carpet cleaning up here, which was a little crazy because the carpet cleaner is super loud, but they slept through it all. And I am thankful for sound machines, especially during nap time, because, you know, these days we're getting a lot of stuff delivered to our home. 
So it's not even the most of the time the delivery men don't ring the doorbell. They'll just set the package on the front porch, but it's the dog. The dog hears the truck. The dog sees the UPS man out front and she starts barking. So thankful for sound machines. I'm looking for a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I have played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute I don't have, I don't have any limits Ooh, ooh I'm looking for a place where I can't feel alive So I just want to ask how you guys are doing with the holidays and everything that's going on. I know it can be a lot, but how are you guys doing mentally, physically? Are you ready for the holidays? I'll admit, I kind of feel like this whole year has seemed off and I it just doesn't feel like the normal holiday season. Um, but I am grateful for the health of my family and my, my kids and they're another year older and they are excited. Well, Avery's super excited for the holidays. Um, the twins don't really know, but they're a year older than last year. I mean, they don't know what's going on or that it's Christmas, but they're gonna love ripping open the wrapping paper on Christmas. So I am excited for that and watching them through, through the holidays and trying out some new traditions. But let me know how you guys are doing. So once I was done cleaning the stairs, I wanted to Hey guys, this is an extreme kitchen organized and deep clean and by the end of this video, you are going to have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can go and organize your own kitchen. Hopefully, I can make organizing easy for you and then I can give you a place to start. So let's do this. Hey friends, so today we're gonna be doing some kitchen organization and you probably, maybe you're a little confused on where I'm at. This is obviously not my home, it is my parents' home. I've filmed a couple of cleaning videos in their home in the past couple of months, but my parents moved into, into this house in March and they have requested that I come in and help organize their home. So I am starting out in the kitchen. Um, this is going to be a two-part series kitchen organization. I wanted to break it up because since it's a brand new home, there was a lot of organization that had to be done and I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So this is part one that we're going to be doing today. So 
a lot of kitchen organization in the next couple of weeks but i got started out by cleaning up their countertops and i also wanted to do their dishes my family meaning my husband and my kids were over the night before and i told my mom to leave the mess because i would clean it all up for them when i was over today um, my daughter emery even spilled milk on the floor so i was planning on mopping for them as well and i just wanted like i said to pick up the countertops do the dishes before all of the fun organization and in today's video i'm going to be decluttering and organizing under their sink the spice cabinet and then their flour and sugar and just wait till you guys see some of these transformations my goal is that by the end of this video you have so many ideas to go and organize your own kitchen and you're gonna just have so many ideas you're gonna run out and go and get ready to organize and i'm gonna bring you step by step and hopefully i can make it easy and fun for you so you can organize your own kitchen If you're wondering what I'm using to wipe down the countertops, it's just my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. Try it out. I promise you will love it. If you are just stumbling upon my channel or this video, or if you're new to my channel, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Jamie, obviously. I'm a wife to my high school sweetheart, Mike, and we have three young daughters. One of them is five, and then we have twins who are one, actually one and a half. And my goal is that I can create a community here on YouTube, um, a way that we can all support each other, help each other out. I am always here for you guys. If you message me on Instagram or here on YouTube, I will answer you back. I want to be here for you. I want to help you. I want to make your life a little bit easier. And ultimately, I want to motivate and help you get things done. Life is not easy. We all have our struggles and hurdles and i am here for you so i would love to have you join my journey i have a lot of fun fall videos coming up decorating organization and so much more more so make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell and join my journey and i will also have a get to know me playlist linked in the description that you can check out when you're done watching this video you can get to know me more on a personal level So I wanted to tackle under the sink first because I feel like that was the messiest and luckily since they just moved in it's not like it was a total disaster under here but they just needed some some organizational systems put into place so my parents know where to find things. So I started out by pulling everything out. You kind of have to do that when you're organizing. Pull everything out so you can really deep clean and get a sense of what you have.
once everything was wiped down i put all of the organizational systems that i had that i had bought in here to see how they would all fit and i was hoping that they would all fit now at the end of this video i'm gonna go through and tell you where i got everything and all of that so you can kind of see the final transformations of the before and the after but i will tell you that step one with organizing does start out before you actually organize. So what I did about a week ago, so this would be step one, is I came over to my parents and I took a look at what, at the three areas that I was going to be organizing. Um, so for example, I came under the sink, I looked at what my mom had in here, you know, I kind of assessed what could be moved somewhere else, what could be thrown away, what did we want to keep? And then from there, I went online and looked at places like Dollar Tree, Amazon, Target, and I found organizational systems that would best suit this specific area and the stuff that my mom and dad wanted to keep under here. So for example, she or they have a lot of spray cleaners and I wanted to put all of those on the Lazy Susan so they could all fit in here. She can spin it around and see what she has. It just makes organizing the spray cleaners a little bit better and so when she's reaching for a certain cleaner she's not knocking the other ones over and then i put the clorox wipes because we know those are a hot commodity these days into a basket so they can easily be reached and i got that basket from target i use them all over my home they have them in different colors and then i got this three-tier organizer from target as well and this three-tier organizer is super important because my mom has a lot of sponges she likes to use magic erasers dishwash sponges all of that so i wanted an organizer where she could see all of the sponges and a, and the different kind of sponges all laid out and then a place to put all of her microfiber towels so she could easily grab them when she needs to clean the goal here is to keep all supplies easily visible so she can quickly grab something and at you know at the end of the night when she's cleaning or also so when she knows she's running low on supplies there's nothing worse than realizing you're out of a certain cleaner or whatever so i really like this organizer because it allows us to organize a variety of things put them all separated and we're fitting because it's vertical we're fitting more things into one small area under the sink so organization is key because my mom can clean more more efficiently all by making sure she's organized And then a way to make her dish pods look a little bit nicer, I got this plastic container from Target. I actually have one under my sink, so they're pretty inexpensive and it's just an easy way and a little bit of a nicer way to store the dishwasher pods. When I was done organizing under the sink before I moved on to the spice cover cabinet, which I was really excited to organize that cupboard specifically, I just wanted to quickly wipe down their kitchen sink since I was in that area. So to wipe down their sink, their specific sink, I use a mixture of vinegar and Dawn dish soap with a scrub daddy sponge. And then I go in and shine it with yes you're going to hear this right olive oil i saw this on a cleaning website one time so i'm not just making it up it is something legitimate it helps shine their sink when i'm done cleaning it and it's something that they always have on hand so it's what i do i want you close to me you give me what i need
I got this little sponge holder from Amazon. It'll be linked down below, but I just thought it added a nice little touch to their kitchen. To the All right, so then it was time to organize their spice cabinet. So right now they have all of their spices just thrown in a basket in a cupboard, nowhere close to the oven or stove. But they had this cabinet right here by their stove that is designed for spices. They didn't even know that's what it was designed for, but it totally makes sense because it's right next to the stove and the oven. So you can easily grab a spice and use it when you're cooking. But even if they wanted to use their spices in this cabinet the way they have their spices, they would be digging around for specific ones. They wouldn't know which spice to grab. So I wanted to change that for them and organize their spices so it would be a much more efficient way when they're going in and cooking and they need to find a specific spice. So I got started just by pulling all of their spices down and I went through them. Some of them had expired and some, um, you know, like I could get rid of and then I was gonna organize them into groups. Now waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my love got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in Cause I've been And then when I went through all of the spices and I knew what we were keeping And I had them all grouped together, I pulled out the spice jars and labels that I had that I was going to organize. I love these jars so much. I got them from the Talented Kitchen. I will have her store link down below. There's an online store. You can also get them from Amazon. So super quick, easy, convenient. But I've actually ordered, I ordered these, I feel like it was in the winter for my own kitchen. And I just loved them so much that I wanted to get them for my parents' kitchen. So they're just nice. Um, they have different sets. You can get like different sizes. I think a four ounce, a four ounce spice jar, six ounce spice jars. And they come with so many labels, like just so many labels that like I didn't even use half of them. Um, so pretty much any spice you have, anything, you're gonna be able to find it. So it just makes it look so much nicer. And when you see how it all turned out, you're gonna see it's just so much better. It looks nicer, but it's also a lot more practical and it's just gonna make cooking a lot easier for my parents when they need specific spices. So I was just going through and putting all of the spices into the jars. This is a little bit of a difficult part. I was using a funnel and sometimes the spices got like a little bit too big for the funnel and it just ended up being a mess. I will tell you that when I did it, did it at my house, they ended up being a huge mess. So it is what it is. I tried my best, tried not to waste too much, but I just put all of those in the jars and then labeled them and I came across this one Herbes de Provence, Provence. I don't know. I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry. And I'm like, what is this spice? I have no idea. If you guys are new to my channel, then I, I'm going to tell you, I don't like to cook. I am not like, I am not a chef. I don't like to cook. I have the most basic spices ever, like garlic powder, chili powder, like basics. I have no idea what this is. And I had to laugh because my mom actually had it. And if I would have just seen that spice label i would have been like i have no i've never even heard of this but my mom had it so must be something practical you got me So then I just placed them all in this top part of the drawer and as you can see it's just so much more practical, so much easier for them and it takes up way less space than when they were all just shoved into those baskets. So I just put them all in there and then lined up the other spices like with the bigger jars that I didn't have jars for or just extra things. Um, and they can do so much with this drawer. I think they were definitely not utilizing it to its full potential. Sometimes I might be 
so I got these canisters from Walmart. Um, they're acrylic or plastic. Um, but I will tell you, they are, they come in a variety of sizes um, and they seal shut. Like you just go like pull that. And I feel like they're pretty good containers. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but these canisters, if you look online, I was looking online, I was like looking on Amazon and Target and so many other places and they are expensive. They can get super, super expensive. Even plastic ones, or if you buy them a little bit more in bulk on Amazon, they just really get expensive. So look into these. I think they were around $7 and this one is 10 cups. And then obviously they have different sizes. They have smaller ones, they even have bigger ones. And I kind of like the look of them. Like I feel like they look really nice. Now, I didn't notice this, but I, when I, but this one is broke. So I'm gonna have to go take that back. I just got it this morning. So I don't know what happened there, but I'll have to take that one back. Um, but I can put the flour and the sugar um, in these two and then I'll get another one at another time. But if you need some inexpensive, nice canisters, I would definitely check out Walmart. They also just had their flour and sugars in like Ziploc bags. So it was nice to be able to get these inexpensive canisters. And I also think the top, the white goes with the rest of their kitchen and then I label them. So the Talented Kitchen also has these labels and they are beautiful. I love the font. I think that's my favorite. And here again, so many labels. I mean, anything you have in your kitchen, you're going to find a label there. And this was the smaller packet. They even have bigger packets of labels. So again, go check out the Talented Kitchen. This is not sponsored at all. I just, she has some ama amazing stuff if you need to organize in your kitchen. Organizing a kitchen is a big project and a way to kind of make it a little bit easier for myself I decided to break it up so when I came in and we identified the areas that really needed organized um, the areas that we needed to declutter and organize I broke them up so I mean I just couldn't dedicate that much time to to organizing all of these areas in one day and it also made it less overwhelming for me if I broke it up and I could just kind of focus on, you know, like today I just focused more on three areas and getting the tools and the systems in place for those areas. And then next week I'll be coming back and then organizing a couple other areas. So if you guys like this, if it's fun, then make sure you stick around for part two and I'm gonna show you what areas I'll be focusing on when I come back. We have these big drawers right here that we're gonna be organizing so we have silverware i'm going to be moving some drawers around this is like a junk drawer that needs to be gone gone through um this drawer and then this drawer right here so i'm going to be organizing those um they have some a cup cabinet right there that i'm going to be organizing so i think that's it i think i'm going to do focus on the junk drawer because that always is a mess and then the silverware drawer and then these big these big drawers um and then the cups up there so that's what i'm going to be doing next week and that's going to be a really good one because not only is it going to have organization in it and cleaning but because it's the fall time i'm going to be helping my mom decorate her front porch so we're going to be decorating for fall and i'm going to do some deep cleaning out there as well use my power washer so that one is going to be like a jam-packed video full of organization cleaning decorating deep cleaning all of it. so make sure you are subscribed make sure you have the notifications on because that one's going to be a good one you told me more than once to show you my intention my brain
brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of a romance. And then when I was done with the organization, I wanted to do some more deep cleaning in their kitchen while I was there. Since I was kind of focusing on the island area, I just went in with the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and wiped down their, uh, the outside of the cabinets. And as I was doing this, I was also, you know, throwing things away throughout the day and I had noticed that the inside of their garbage can needed to be wiped out. So I figured while I was at it, I would go ahead and do that as well. Having a built-in garbage like this is nice. We have one in our home as well, but they also get pretty gross and pretty dirty. So it's important to go in there and vacuum and wipe it down from time to time. So I try to get into all of those areas like honestly if you have one of these like built-in garbage cans it's like how often are you really cleaning like inside there because um, like stuff always gets shoved back there I know at least for us garbage gets shoved back there that falls out of the actual garbage can and it's like we just don't think about doing that as often and I try to do and I try to do that that type of stuff when I come over and clean my parents' house because them just being, you know, not as agile as me, no offense mom and dad, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just easier for me to get in there and get into those hard to reach areas than I know it is for them. So when I'm here, I'm trying to think about those areas that they're probably not cleaning on a regular basis. So the garbage is one, um, top of the cabinets is the other one and a few other areas. So that's what I try to keep in mind when I'm here cleaning for them. So I'll be there if you reach out to me. And then once I was done with all of that, I wanted to finish out and vacuum and mop. I always like to kind of do that at the end of my cleaning sessions. But like I told you, Emery, one of my one-year-old twins, spilled milk on their floor the night before. She actually had taken Avery's cup of milk. And even though Avery wasn't drinking out of like a sippy cup, it was a kid's cup, but it wasn't like a sippy cup it was for older kids it just spilled literally all over her like all over her clothes all over the floor so I mean we obviously cleaned it up off of the floor but it was still going to be sticky and I said don't worry I'll do it I'll mop tomorrow so I was using their vacuum which is the same one that I use the Dyson V7 Animal and then I was going to be using the O Cedar Spin Mop to mop their floors. And make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you the dramatic before and afters at the end of this video. We're almost there. If you're wondering what I use inside of the mop, I use the Bona laminate cleaner. My house, I use the, a lot of times, I use the Bona hardwood floor cleaner because I have hardwood floors, but their flooring is actually laminate, so I use the Bona laminate cleaner.
here when I'm done mopping, I'm going to show you the before and the after of the areas that I organized today. But make sure you're subscribed because next week we're going to have part two of this kitchen organization. Okay, so I will have everything linked down below that I used, um, but I really am loving this. Um, I think it'll be great for my mom. So I just put their, her microfiber cloths here. These are sponges. I think these are like scrub daddy sponges and then magic erasers. And then these are just cleaning tools, which I know she has more in a different cabinet um, or a closet that now she can put right in here cleaning toothbrush and stuff like that. Then we have Clorox wipes, disinfecting wipes. Um, this little canister um, I got from Target. I also got this from Target as well. I use these all over my home. I love these baskets. Um, this from Target, just an easier, nicer way to put their dishwashing tabs. And then the Lazy Susan. And I think that looks really nice. And when she's like, when she needs a specific cleaner or spray, she can just do that. It's all right there. They're not falling all over each other and all of her cleaning supplies that she needs for the kitchen all right here. So I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I ended up putting their spices here. These are like the spices that they use more frequently. And then like the secondary spices, extras. I have a lot of chili powder. So I um, line those up over here. And then secondary spices over here, like extras and stuff like that. And then I thought this was actually a good place for all of their crystal light packets. They kind of like line up really nice right there. And then just some extra stuff down here. So this was not being utilized at all last time. Now it's fully utilized and it's right next to their stove top and oven. So when they need to, they need a spice, it's right there. Also able to, um, I know I think my mom said she's gonna get rid of that type of stuff, um, but pretty much I know that once they go through that, this is going to be a free cover that they can use for food or anything else that they need to. So this is the front porch. I'm gonna take a little break out here. I was just sitting there. This is the front porch that I, hopefully, if my mom gets what she wants, we're gonna decorate it next time. So again, that video is gonna be jam-packed full of a ton of motivation, cleaning, kitchen organization, and then some front porch fall decorating as well. So make sure you guys stick around for that. Um, stick around for part two, a lot more organization. But I'm gonna relax out here. It's super peaceful. They live next door to um, some fields, so I'm just gonna relax a little bit before I head home to my baby girls. Thank you so much for sticking around um, And I guess I'll see you for part two next week. Bye